I'm Yanelli, also known as Miss Be Helpful, with another FinCap Friday brought to you by NGPF. In January 2011, one Bitcoin was 32 cents. And in January 2021, just 10 years later, Bitcoin reached a price of nearly $42,000. But what exactly is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is one of many digital currencies. Unlike traditional currencies, which are created and operated by a government and a central bank, Bitcoin is created by miners, people who solve mathematical problems with their computers. When your computer solves the problem, you earn some new Bitcoins. Anybody can digitally send Bitcoins to another person, which has never been possible before. If you wanted to send somebody money digitally in the past, you would have had to go through a bank, a credit union, or some other financial institution, and they would charge you a fee and you'd have to wait a few days. Bitcoin removes fees and maintains privacy for the users. What are some other pros of Bitcoin, but more importantly, what are some of the cons? Traditional currencies can be printed on demand, and the more money you print, the less it's worth. This is a problem called inflation. But Bitcoin is limited to a total of 21 million possible coins once it's fully mined. Bitcoin has been getting more and more interest and support from big, successful companies on Wall Street, which means that they probably believe in the success of Bitcoin in the future. PayPal announced that in early 2021, they would start making Bitcoin available to people. And the most popular cryptocurrency exchange, Coinbase, launched a cryptocurrency debit card under the Visa banner, making it even easier and more common for people to use Bitcoin. But now let's talk about the major arguments against Bitcoin. Bitcoin is still very new, and therefore there's a lot of uncertainty around it. It's very speculative, which means that it's risky and it's very hard to predict what will happen to it in the future. With stocks, you can calculate the earnings that you get as an investor. And with bonds, you can calculate the income that you would get. But there's no way to calculate the value of Bitcoin. A 2020 survey by HSB revealed that only 36% of small to medium businesses in the United States accept Bitcoin. So what should investors do? In an interview, one CEO said anybody who doesn't understand the basics of Bitcoin and how it works, anybody who cannot deal with that high level of risk that comes with it, the possibility that you might lose most of or all of your money should stay away from Bitcoin. He added that the best investment anybody can make is learning as much as they can. 